um, a better place. Uh, help us as we go about our decision making tonight. Help us to always keep the best interests of our students and our families um, first and foremost. And in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item three public comment. Does anyone present have any comment regarding on any item on tonight's agenda? This will be the only opportunity for public comment. I don't see we'll move on to item four minutes, including executive session certification. Mr. President, I make a motion to approve the minutes, including the executive session certification as presented. Okay, thank you. I'll, second. I'll second. Mr. Richards. Okay, minutes, including executive session certification. Motion made by Chris Cunningham, seconded by Jared Richards. Are there any questions or comments? Okay, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And five, watch us Academy presentation. I'm really excited tonight to have uh, Mrs. Resch and um, Mr. Felger and Mr. Bryant here. Um, we were fortunate enough to uh, attend Purdue's Manufacturing Summit this last week and do a presentation on um, our new Manufacturing Academy. And we have an open house coming up. Um, soon that we want to invite you to. So we're going to give you a, a little bit of a look on what that's going to look like in the near future. <laughs> okay, so um, last week we went to Purdue in math. We've been working with them for just a, right around a year um, mm -hmm. in this planning process for Watch Us Academy. It's our advanced manufacturing pathway or concentrator. So for a lot of students to earn that high school diploma as a CTE concentrator. So our um, at the um, summit, we shared and some that we're really proud of is our community partners. Um, so just to highlight them again, Wiley Metal, American Woodmark, Summer Seating and Cooling, and Bowman Construction. Um, we had representatives from Wiley Metal, or excuse me, from Summers and from Bowman Construction with us that drove to Purdue to be there for our presentation that day, which was great as community partners, as well as the Sentinel staff as well. Um, here are some other community partners that have been involved in this entire process. We could not have done this without every single person there. Um, it takes a village, um, and it truly did, and it represents us here well. So American Woodmark and Wiley Metal are our two partners that our students are traveling to each week now. One day a week, they right now half the class goes to Wiley Metal, the other half goes to American Woodmark, and then at the semester, then they would switch. So they're having one day a week, they have uh, about blocks of school where they go and push in and spend some time shadowing and doing different things at that exact site, which is very cool. Next year, as they're, they'd be seniors, they would spend four days a week at one of our community partners instead of just the one day a week. So right now they're just doing a lot of classwork. And next year it will be even more, especially as they turn 18, a lot of the companies that are with us that have that 18 the age of 18 requirement to be on the floor and doing things. But second semester of senior year, they'll be doing internships and they'll be paid internships for our students. So great opportunity. Okay, so kind of alongside the Watches Academy are three new design and innovation studios. We've got these at Northview, at RG Basket, and at Mississippi High School. Um, so these were purchased as part of a 3D grant and, and collaboration for Purdue. The idea is it's like a bigger space, it's like a STEM lab, so there's a lot of hands-on materials. But the difference is that there's curriculum and then there's alignment to the career pathways. So students get early hands-on access to stuff that can help them decide if these are a particular career that they might be interested in. We're trying to simulate local employer workspaces. So instead of just driving by American Woodmark and seeing the you know the metal siding and not really knowing what's going on in there, 
We want to have posters and photos of the workplaces. We want to have employers coming in and sharing what they do um, on a daily basis so students can have an accurate understanding of what this might look like for their future. Um, and also just to address that perception of manufacturing, that stigma that might be there, and just show that there are a variety of careers that can happen, even just in the manufacturing center, sector, but then you can also extend that into other sectors and pathways that we have available. So these are a really exciting addition to the schools this year. Just completed training this past week um, with STEM Education Works, and we're very excited um, to get rolling with those. Each of the schools look a little bit different. So Northview, this is a specials rotation. Uh, Mrs. Roberts is running that, and students are learning robotics, uh, block coding, computational and algorithmic thinking, problem-solving skills, and again, the real point here is that they're building career awareness. So this is aligned to the to the Watches Academy. At RJ Basket, the studio functions alongside PLTW. So those experiences, those hands-on project-based experiences are being extended into uh, the careers. And then finally, the high school, um, this is actually just next door to the Watches Academy. This is, uh, I, I love this slide because it shows some of our TS students, our alternative students using the equipment. Uh, and you can see those little robotic arms. So next to that is when we went to Purdue, we had a tour and we could see kind of a, a, the next step up from those robotic arms, but it's still the same concept, right? So they're still learning the coding principles. And then actually the top right picture is at Wiley Metal. So one of our local partners, you can see the progression of the students being able to get that hands-on experience leading to their internship. We're very excited. All right, this is our amateur equipment list. What we did, uh, we ordered through amateur with our dual credit partners, Ivy Tech, uh, used the amateur for uh, for the same classes that we're going to do. Uh, the great thing about this equipment is that when you look at the pathway through <coughs> IDOE, the principal scores, our principles of mainstream manufacturing, and our uh, the concentrated A, as they call it, uh, our mainstream manufacturing technology. That's the basis to a lot of different manufacturing pathways, and really our goal is to grow this from uh, just one pathway to multiple pathways. So we're starting with um, the industrial maintenance electrical side of things, and that's through um, our committee kind of deciding uh, the best route for that. And we're going to hopefully move on to other things as well as the years go by and we keep growing. This is another piece of equipment that we got. Uh, this is the mini LES or the mini lean environment simulator. Um, if you don't know what lean manufacturing is, basically it's just the practice of cutting waste. Um, it came from Toyota years ago and then we I mean, really just took manufacturing by storm. Uh, what the kids do is they build up these caps uh, and when they start the process, it's a very convoluted process and they have to work together as teams to kind of balance different workloads to decide who's doing what, um, and really just using lean principles to kind of get in the minds of how manufacturing works at its most efficient uh, way. So the Watches Academy students, they did have to apply to be in Watches Academy. Um, so it wasn't just anybody who signed up. They did have to fill out an application and our application and then student handbook are really, really pretty. I'd love to share a digital copy with you. Um, we work really hard to create those, but just the application itself is similar to what we would see in the process of filling it out More for a real job. Yeah. yeah. So Mr. Job. Ryan had to do a rough draft and write paper pencil, you know, fill it out this way, and then he graded it, checked it, and then they created that digital copy. So the practice of filling out an application, um, we used a lot of different handbooks from the different um community partners that we use to create our own student handbook and to have some common vocabulary in that manufacturing world in that student handbook as well. So students have to follow our rules. They're still Mississippi law students, even if they're at American Woodmark. Um, and that level of communication is just incredibly important with our students and with our partners. So as you can see, this is a highly sought after pot concentrator at the school. We have 71 students in that principles of advanced manufacturing class. Those are freshmen. And what we know is like freshmen jump in and they need to take a principles class and they try all the other ones. Principles of advanced manufacturing, principles of biomedical science, principles of construction. And sometimes they try it and they're like, I love it. This is my jam. What's next? Sometimes they try it like I did when I said I wanted to be a nurse and I said, mm -mm, this is not for me. And then we try something different. So you can see that the numbers kind of shift, but really from that junior year, 19 to 12, 
Um, that's when we're honing in on that, fine tuning that skill. 12 students are in our Watch Us Academy. We actually have 24 that are completing the concentrator, but 12 students that we're taking out to American Women are going to really medal this year. Can you go back for just a minute? This is actually, this picture makes me like kind of emotional. Um, this is in the pit, this wall mm -hmm. here. So as the year goes on, every time a student gets an acceptance letter in the school, they bring in their acceptance letter, we take their picture. And that could be, we had Ethan you got last year who got an apprenticeship mm -hmm. to be a pilot. So it, it can be anything, tattoo artist, welding, four-year university, military, they take their picture, we print them, pretty small, then we did a ribbon to the university where they're going. So this wall kind of evolves over the course of the school year. So if you're ever in the building, it's a fun place to stop and see. Um, and these little angels, these are our students that are in Watch Us Academy. That's them on their very first day wearing their t-shirts. Um, they got to go to those two places that we've talked about and they were pretty excited, also pretty nervous, but they came back all smiles just lit up in conversation about how cool this experience is, talking to their peers. Similar to um, when we had our first associate's degree a couple years ago, students are our best walking billboards. Mm -hmm. They talk and tell their friends. And then we have emails of mm -hmm. our school counselors blow up like, why wouldn't they watch this academy? As soon as they come back from the field trip, which is great. So we did, um, after we had students apply to Watch Us Academy, we did <laughs> acceptance letters to them. And this was something that we used on social media. Um, for those students who were accepted into the program. So again, to highlight their acceptance of this awesome program. Mm -hmm. These are really quickly just the classes that they would take to be in line and <coughs> earning their concentrator, which is one way to fill your requirements for graduation. But also you can see these dual credit offerings. So Larry's classes, we students can take them just as regular um, IDO courses, but there's also a dual credit course tied to it. So stu students can earn IV tech credentials and certifications alongside with the Watches Academy. And we talked about this too. So juniors this year, everybody in our cohort is a junior. I think we have one senior actually who just really wanted to be in and beg. And so we said, okay, um, but they're going one day a week this year, all year long on Tuesdays. And then Next year, they'll go four days a week with that one day off um, being a cor coursework day on this is high school. All right, thanks. This is, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so this is uh, my grandpa here. The right, show Watch Us as the name. It's kind of twofold. The obvious one being Watch Us Build or Rebuild Manufacturing and Support Manufacturing. The other one is about the actual watches. He has, uh, I have two watches, one from GM, that's his, from 20 years at GM. <laughs> but the other one is from my dad. He got his from Marley Meadow, which is one of our industrial partners. And really, that just kind of signifies our kind of um, promise and to kind of build these kids to be able to give back to the community and these manufacturers for being like for longevity, really. So. So something I'm incredibly proud of as a high school principal is what we're doing at Mississippi High School is we're preparing kids for careers, not just to work a job. So they're learning a skill, they're earning credentials, they're earning associate's degrees in a field that's highly sought after where they can make a livable wage, not just minimum wage. And they, when they earn something, it's truly life-changing to them. And we see this in our medical pathway, we're seeing it in the manufacturing pathway, they're making connections with people that could land them a future job. Um, we know that sometimes it's not always what you know, it's who you know, So, and we're doing both. We're connecting them with school, so they have that credential, but that we're also, they're meeting the building manager of American Woodmark. That's a, a national company, that's amazing. So. I love everything about Washington Academy. I'm very, very proud of Mr. Ryan and just our whole team. Leslie's vision, it was something they asked, like, how did you do this? Like, how did you get all these community partners to show up? And I was like, well, Leslie Winter. <laughs> not every not every superintendent was there um, at Purdue. And it, it truly has to be a top-down philosophy. We had to have her leadership to help us get all these partners there to the table. And then the process itself. Um, and all those pieces came together, and I'm very excited and proud of Watch Us Academy. We're having our open house on October 11th. 
going to be from 430 until 630 after school. That's one of our PLC learning days. So that evening on October 11th will be our open house where we invite our students and their families. And we would love to have you. If you and are. we will remind you. Okay. And we will remind what was that time again? 430 to A couple so things that that um, they didn't mention that are very significant is number one. I believe we're the only high school with an innovation lab. And our philosophy behind that was a student may not want to do a full manufacturing <laughs> academy, but they may have interest in it. Manufacturing is redefined. It used to just be people thought you went into the factory and you worked a line. Those days are over. You have to know robotics. You have to understand mathematics. You have to understand logistics. So it's, it is not just a career. It is a true pathway of success. And we're really excited about it. Then the Watch Us. That was all the community partners coming up. It took us two meetings um, to come up with that name, Watch Us. And what we liked about it is watch us grow, watch us heal for health science, watch us build for construction, watch us teach for education pathway, because we are very much wanting to expand watch us at Mississippi Community Schools through our tribe university. And um, after their presentation, we were the last presentation of the day then they did a 30 minute to go to a group that presented, there were three different school systems that presented. And I went out in the hallway to speak with one of the leaders on another issue. And she goes, one of the other leaders came out, she goes, Leslie, you gotta go in there and look at your team. And I went in there and I think 90% of the people in the room were huddled around them, trying to gather more information um, because they were so impressed with how many students we had involved uh, in that program. So um, I'm extremely proud of your work, all of you. And that takes all the principals to have that philosophy K through 12 to give our kids opportunity for success. So great job. Yeah, um, I come out of the holiday industry, I spent 35 years there. So I've seen it go from basically pneumatic to electric electronics. And I've seen robots do jobs. I was on one line. I remember there was 40 some people on when they come through. A Dutch group come through, and then there's one guy loaded and one guy unloaded. It took away and it's projects. I know it's jobs, but and then the efficiency of it is they don't take breaks, they don't go on vacation, they don't have health care, they don't do the thing. I and mean, that's but we talk the first time here. Our kids are not we see this, you know, this at all of Eastbrook, Oak Hill, but our kids will be in competition with the world. I mean, when I was there, I people met people from uh, China, Japan, Korea, South Korea, you name it, all, the whole spectrum. And that, that's the kids we got prepared mm -hmm. for, the world that they live in. It's not it's not just the name of it anymore. So, but yeah, that's that's a great job. And lean, I went through lean manufacturing. You know what that is, and the horseshoes and pinch points and the whole nine yards, where I could go find the very <laughs> slowest thing operationally. So I understand all that. It's that's great because that's that's what I saw when I left the auto industry. Was, that's where they were headed for, and we're starting to do that here with the way we put things together. Or we got have some really smart women over there to so get things going. But we have, we have, we have consolidated, correct? Not we've consolidated and made things better. Not made that's exactly better. right. That's that's what I said a lot for the staff over there. So good job, great job again. If anybody else, great presentation. Uh, it looks to me like. <clears throat> This is the band we need for a substitute teacher. <laughs> 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 Uh, seriously, I, I know what you're saying. I think you say it was a Toyota or uh, uh the, my trainer was Steve Antoini, um, and he was he worked for Toyota for 20 years, yeah. uh, with that many OS and stuff. So that's good. They're always cool. trying to improve, improve the process, yeah. Correct? That's what the whole thing is. Hey, nice job, really nice. Mm -hmm. okay. Anybody else? Well, I don't want anybody else. Thank you. So, well, let's think this was, yeah. we're going down to Westview Playground. Let's see, who would that be? Well, <laughs> we are excited to have Mrs. Warrior and Mrs. Richards here today. And um, before they get started, I wanted to share with you, you know, just how proud they are of these facilities. But I want to tell you that this didn't, didn't just start happening the last two years. Um, Mrs. Richards approached me many years ago with an idea 
of creating an outdoor play space for uh, Westview Elementary that encompassed uh, her philosophy that learning why playing is a very healthy curriculum. And uh, she sold me on that many years ago. And uh, she's worked tirelessly to write grants to put us in a position to really start seeing that dream come alive. So um, I wanted to thank her for that vision many, many years ago. And we're excited to see that it's starting to come uh, come alive in that building, in that area. Well, thank you, Mrs. Lantern and Mrs. Ford for having us tonight. I'd like to show you a quick fun show of our little ones enjoying our new program. <laughs> Boy, they're getting it up. I'm so thankful for these clear crystal screens that we're getting mm -hmm. to see this information, you know, on. Who do we call, Steve? Here? <laughs> Who do we call now, right? Steve can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk to you a little bit about the playground and how it came to fruition and how it was such a huge joint effort of um, people who have retired and people who are currently there and people who are part of our PTO that have all got to discuss and be part of not only the outdoor classroom but also the new um, playground equipment. Um, so we are just so excited to um, have this opportunity for the students at Westview. Um, not just that, just the community of Jennifero. Wait, I don't know if you went by, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And we'll show you right here with this lovely presentation. Great job, Mrs. Fitcher. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. So we'll take your screen, we're going to show you some pictures of our kiddos enjoying the playground. Um, and we can kind of talk through what we're going to be seeing. So, um, this is just some shots of the playground. That's actually some little ones doing some cheers, as you may see. Uh, some, of the faces. Um, some of the things that you'll see in this playground is there's a lot of hands on experiences for them. Um, what I love is that it's 100% ADA compliant. So students in walkers, wheelchairs, everyone has access to all things. There's a puppet group. There is sensory areas where the kids can feel different textures. Um, our merry-go-round, gone are the days of the merry-go-round where they run around and everyone falls and gets rocks in their knees, right? <laughs> um, this is actually safe and the kiddos can learn how to spin safely and not get themselves hurt. Um, the children just love the experiences. But we also love is that the fenced-in area has a lot of green space, so the kiddos can run and climb. We have a mud kitchen. We have large building blocks. We have large magnet tiles, um, and just a lot of really cool experiences for our kids. So as you can see, our students, staff, and community are making <laughs> wonderful memories at Westview. Here are a few quotes from our students that we'd love to share with you. One of our kiddos said, I can go high on the swings. I like to go round and round. I like exercising. I like having a big area so I can run. And we appreciate that. It's fenced in, so they're not trying to run to Jonesville. <laughs> I like making music on the piano. I think there is a piano there. There are a few more. I like the slide because it's fun to go on. I like the monkey bars because I can swing on them. I like the swirly slide because I can go on my back and go fast. The swings go really high. I like to build boxes with the giant Legos and magnets. I like racing on the path. I really love the twisty stuff. And in the coming weeks, you will have even more items installed for the outdoor classroom or the ground. Um, so please take the opportunity to come by with your families. You will get to see the art, music, STEM. Um, we will bring the classroom outdoors for our students, which um, as you, you could probably see why 
way less behaviors on outdoors than what they are inside. So this will be an opportunity not only for all of our students, but for our teachers and our families that will last, last a lifetime. What's been really fun to see is that there's never a dull moment, or do we know that at Westview Elementary, um, but watching them play. Um, as was shared with you, the behaviors have gone down because there's so many experiences for them to do. Um, the outdoor track is just incredible. Not only are they racing on the tricycles and using their scooters, but they're just running. And they're running safely and on a path instead of running into each other. Um, it's just been a lot of fun to watch. Just like those little cheerleaders, they were actually doing a cheer that this girl um, that I was super proud of and they were doing the rhythm and they were understanding it. We were watching four little boys just last week doing a worm across the grass. I was very impressed with that. I didn't know that was still a thing because I could never do it. Um, my new, uh, one of uh, Mrs. Prater, our new help uh, for admin support, she did a round of my handspring just last week to show the kids. I go, oh, that's don't ask me to do that. I'm 45 year old, I can't do that anymore. Um, but we just want to say thank you again for to Mrs. Winter, Mrs. Townsend, Mr. Quarter, Mr. Gosser, um, and the Westview PTO, and the members of the board, just for your incredible support. I know how hard you all have worked in the vision, and it's just really incredible to see it come to life, and that we're adding to it even more. So our new outdoor classroom and our playground is a smashing success, and we promise to build a home that will last a life. So thank you again for having us. Good job. Yeah, thanks. You can see Great why job. it's really easy for me to come to work every day. Um, just the enthusiasm and the excitement from our team and our teachers for our students and opportunities for them, not only during the school day, but opportunities outside of the school day. It makes me very proud and makes me very proud to work for the school board. Thank you, the board. You might want to come. Okay. Nice job. Nice job. We'll move on to uh, number seven on conference request. Mr. President, we have the following conference request for your consideration this evening. Jeremy Lochner to attend the Indiana ACTE conference in Indianapolis, September the 22nd through the 23rd, of a cost of $660 to be paid from the high school travel account. Maria Ellis and Anna McGuire to attend connecting and communicating across cultures conference in Indianapolis, November the 3rd through the 4th, of a cost of $287 to be paid from the high school travel account. Connor Cunningham to attend IU ACP Chemistry Fall Conference in Bloomington, November the 17th. That is no cost to the corporation. I'm asking for approval of all conferences we presented. With the board's Mr. President, Mr. Rural. I'll make a motion to approve conference requests as presented. Okay, thank you. You're second. I'll second. Mr. Miller. Okay. Conference request motion made by Conrad Array, second by Susan Miller. Are there any questions or comments? Okay, now all, uh, for the board, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Close. <clears throat> motion carries. Number eight, personnel, Mrs. Miller. Mr. President, we have the following personnel items for your consideration this evening. We're excited that we're going to be starting an after-school dance club, and we're recommending Isaac Berry for that position, mm -hmm. Stephanie Ballage as the Special Education Department Chair at Missinewa High School, effective immediately, Sherry Teagle as the Robotics Coach at RJ Basket Middle School, effective for the 23-24 school year, Samantha Johnson as the Unified Robotics Coach and Assistant Robotics Coach at RJ Basket Middle School, effective 23-24 school year, Matt Galbraith and Amanda Atkins as our Quiz Bowl sponsors at Missinawa High School, effective immediately. We recommend approval of these personnel items as presented. Mr. President. Mr. President, Mr. Rich, make a motion to accept the personnel requests as presented. Second. Second. Mr. Crouch. Okay, uh, personnel motion is made by Jared Richards, made by Mike Crouch. Any questions or comments? Yeah, one. Did you and Rachel used to have your own dance class, and you guys don't participate? I got, I got cut uh, from it, and I think in support of me, Rachel decided to quit. Do we want to put that video up? Or are we not showing that video tonight? Or we got the video. Okay. Any other questions? I've done a lot of dumb things, but I'm not doing it. All those favors say aye. Aye. Opposed. 
wash some cherries. Thank you. <laughs> the sales report. <laughs> Mr. Gosser. If you get around our building, you see the things. <laughs> 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 really, truly. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, though. We're Okay. Mr. Anybody else have anything to post? Okay, then we'll move to legislative update. Chris? Yeah, just uh, uh, let everyone know November organizational day will be taking place. So we'll want to watch that. We have a new representative in uh, Lori Gross Reeves who took over um, for um, Vermillion. So mm -hmm. Yeah, and Vermillion. So um, I don't know that we'll have a chance to meet with her before session begins. So, um, and then I think we'll just, we'll watch and see where it plays. It's a non-budget year. So most of it will probably function on policy, but we've seen stranger things happen during that time. So we'll be ready, you know, when it happens, we'll probably get um, a briefing of some things that might be happening um, when we go to the ISBA conference uh, next week. And I'm sure um, Mr. Hicks will be in, informing us about where we are economically as a, a state and with education while we're there too. So uh, that's all I have. Sir. Okay, um, move on down to the 11 athletic corporate sponsors, donations, and grants. Mr. President, we have the following corporate sponsors for your consideration this evening CIE LLC in the amount of $1,000. We also have the following donation for your consideration. Bob Bothwell to the Youth for Christ in the amount of $300. We recommend approval of these corporate sponsors and donations as presented. Mr. President, make a motion to approve the sponsors and donations and grants, please. Okay. I'll second. Connor? Yes. Okay. Uh, motion made by uh, athletic. Uh, Corporate sponsors, donations, and grant motion made by Matt Kraut, second by Conrad Arrera. I have questions or comments. Okay, hearing them, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, claims 50740 and 50806. Yes, in one week's time, we only generated $291,356.45 in claims for your approval. What is it, sir? <laughs> we have a lot of them, but we won't have a chance to see them during questions or comment on that. Well, I guess I'll ask for a motion. Okay, and then I'll ask for a motion. I'll ask yeah, Mr. Okay, President, I make a motion to approve the claims 50740 through 50806 as presented. Okay. Second. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, motion made by Chris Cunningham, second by Susan Miller. Are there any questions or comments? Okay, hearing them, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Correspondence and other business. Item 13. Yes, we do, are going to ask Mrs. Rash to come back to the podium and talk about our SAT day that's going to be coming up and what we're going to be doing with our students. Um, okay, so PSAT slash SAT day is going to be October 26th. Um, on that day, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, all freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will be taking the PSAT with the juniors taking that NMSQT exam, which performance, high performance on that test is what could lead to a National Merit Scholar like we've had in the past, which is kind of fun. Um, and then our seniors, we do offer the SAT that day. We have 30 seniors who have signed up to take the SAT that day, which is outstanding. Knowing that they don't have to take it again, but just want to is really cool. So in the past, we've done community service. Seniors can either do community service and volunteer their time, or they can do the SAT test. This year, we added an additional option for our seniors that they could take a college visit that day as well. So students are going to get a Google form where they can submit and let us know what they plan to do. Um, and then when we get that back, then they'll be assigned community service opportunities. So we work with the Center of Community Schools have groups of students go to each of the four buildings to do small tasks there. Um, the Gasoline Parks, which they like us coming after Duck Tail, we go to the Downtown Park. Um, we work with um, the, oh, the flowers like along Main Street to do some fine tuning and pruning there. Um, so, some opportunities for them to do community service, college visit, or they'll be testing that day. 
So we will have a unique day that we're going to bring that proposal to you to vote on. So our day will still start and end at the same time, but a huge chunk of it is just testing because of the nature of the beast, especially our students with accommodations with those students who have accommodations, their test lasts, I think, right around five hours. So it's pretty extensive. Um, so we will provide lunch. Um, it'll be a unique day and typically after all that heavy testing, students don't want to go back and do AP bio and a lot of heavy academic things. We have some just calming activities for afterwards and things like that. It was when we close out our Thursday. This is just for the board's knowledge because we will be advertising uh, and communicating with the parents that this will be going on. It's kind of similar to our, own, our, our old Indian Pride service project, except unfortunately, it's not everyone gets to do it because of the state mandate on standardized testing. But so the, building uh, will still be busy. the building will be so busy, and um, but it, it creates a healthy testing environment and the students don't have as many distractions when our seniors are out doing community service. Um, you want to go ahead and talk about your ex uh, athletic leadership team that attended the ISHA today? Today, we took four senior athletes to the IHSA fall sports meeting. Uh, Rich Venture and myself took um, four seniors, Nolan Quater, Ashton Brubaker, Adrian Jeter, and Maddie Carpenter. Um, and I told Leslie, I kind of had this like mom panic mode. As soon as we walked in the door, they immediately took our kids off into this leadership like group. And we were not near or with them at all while they um, received some student professional development about having their own leadership teams at their building, how to be inclusive with those, um, some ideas with unified athletics, and just really how to improve the climate and culture of athletics in your school. So they came out on fire. Uh, we did take them to lunch and had a really good discussion in the car and then just over lunch about what that could look like at Mississauga High School. So very, very excited to see how that will grow with Mr. Benjamin and myself leading that. Hey, our National Merit Scholar that we're allowed right. to announce um, now. One of the members today, Adrian Jeter, was announced. And I, can, I can publicly share this now that Adrian Jeter was announced as a National Merit Finalist. Last year, we had Daniela Joseph. Um, this year, Adrian Jeter is has this distinguished high honor. So very, very excited and proud of him. Um, and an outstanding young man at Mississauga High School. And he does cross country, track, uh, just a stellar scholar and an incredible human being of high character. Really enjoyed getting to know Adrian. So very proud of him. Two years in a row, congratulations. Yeah, that's awesome. How is Tiger coming along? Tiger is doing excellent. Um, he's had some days at RJ Basket Middle School, and now Andy's like, I don't know, and I might need to take Tiger out. But you know, the kids really enjoy seeing him there as well. Um, just a, a friendly spot. It's hard for a kid to walk by and not smile and be petting Tiger in between passing periods. So if he likes to pop into classrooms, we try not to let him be a distraction. But just really offers some TLC in a way that a human being can't in sensitive situations with radiant health coming in for students one on one counseling appointments. We have some students that just prefer to take Tiger in there with him to be in there as a support to them if they know they have a tough meeting that day. Um, but he's doing an excellent job with his obedience at school and all of his techniques there. Now his commands at home. We're still, he still acts like a dog sometimes. Um, that's <laughs> very well he, he is a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so Thank you. Yeah. 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 Every time we get a chance for for our building, it's always really nice to have you come forward. You guys do amazing things, and we get to hear about them and be part of one, but you guys are the ones that put the we think the students on a regular basis really appreciate it. Yeah. And you know, you always seem to have a smile. Maybe I don't know, but it just seems like nice that you truly really have compassion for our kids. And we need our kids need those kind of things. So great job. Great job. Well, uh, Mrs. Warner and Mrs. Richard, do you have anything else you'd like to share that's going on in your buildings? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so um, we are going to have our regular STEM night coming up in October. Um, and we're going to be actually 
um, October 12th, so it's the day after our morning day. Um, we're, we're really excited about that. Um, we're going to partner with Title Nine as well and do some awesome activities for the community. Um, it's a great time because the kids love Legos. They love all the activities, but they love the drawings for the free Legos. So um, that's going to be a fun night. So we're excited for that. Um, so we're just rocking and rolling over here. Yeah. It's been great. Right. <laughs> okay. wonderful. All right. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. I love um, learning from supporting her, and I'm so glad about our additions to our program. Um, just uh, preschool is growing and doing really well, um, and they're getting used to the routines, um, just like kindergarten and first grade. So now things are getting a little bit easier now that they kind of understand um, how to walk in the hallways and <laughs> it's just that important thing when they hear from families and they get emails or they tell us um, that they appreciate how we always reiterate safety and what our jobs are to keep them safe. And so um, when they come to me, I say, because I say it every day on the announcements, my job is to keep you safe. Your job is to be safe with your hands, your feet, and your words. So when they have to come see me, I can then say to them, what were you not safe with? Friends today, they my hands. So <laughs> it, it mm -hmm. makes it so our hope is by being at with us and the little by the time they get to Northview, they're able to um, have that emotional regulation where they can state um, what's going on with them instead of using their hands. Thank you. <laughs> so they can be uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so they're ready. Everybody else. Okay. Uh, Mr. Swatter. I just want to take a second. Thank Ms. Winter, Mr. Quadra, and the board for, as I start my new, really new position, the opportunity. Um, we got great people working on our buildings, um, great leadership. Um, it starts at the top. So we got just proud to be part of it. Mr. Cruz, Mr. Cruz, you're representing Northview tonight. Yeah, we have a we have a lot coming up or, or that has already started. We have a uh, line dancing club starting uh, <laughs> robotics starting up coming up very very soon and i know that um this partner mr brubank or burbank um are planning for that our, our competition coming up in february um with just us girls going on right now uh we do have a fall festival coming up uh 29th of this month um, so that's going to run from six until whenever we're going to facilitate, we're going to have like hay rides, um, hot apple cider, uh, cornhole, face painting, kind of a, we're doing a different, different twist. And then we're going to show a movie uh, at 7.30, so it's probably 7.30 until 9, we've got a big blow up screen. Um, so it should be a great time. Uh, for our families doing that. Um, seems like there's more and more clubs getting added to the elementary every day, uh, which is a testament to the school and the school board uh, for allowing us to do those things. Because like when I said, line dancing, um, some of you guys probably say, when can I sign up? I'm going to wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Uh, a, lot of, it's a lot of great things. Thank you. Only thing I have, our next board meeting is October the 9th, and the school board and I will be attending the ISBA fall conference on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Okay, the only thing, this is car show weekend, bike show weekend. It's all busy, oh. nice. It's all going to be out on the roads, and there's people on motorcycles. And, and so we just need to talk about safety. Safety is going to be a big issue. Okay. That's why we're not in school. You can't get down James. It takes you an hour to go from one end of town to the other with a, with a car in a lower school. So really appreciate you, you know, appreciate you guys doing what you can to make it go. We are committed and we need those kind of things. It's great, you know, if anything comes to the gas station zone from downtown, it's good. And you guys are doing that with your you know, get my kids go out and work, take, take ownership in their community. Somewhere they may not do it here when they grow up, but they, 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 they you need them kind of people to walk. Yes. Do. Great job at all. Anybody else? Um, Mr. Gaskin, we are at e learning on Friday because of DuckTail. It's our 
our teachers will be in, in, in the buildings, but our students will be uh, learning remotely. So Friday is the learning day and look for that on social media. Anything else no, that's no, okay. <laughs> Every, they, you can't top anything that's been presented. They're great. I just wanted to reiterate that point. So thank you for reminding us. Uh, well, then, anybody else on the board? I just had a question for Mr. Cruz about Just Us Girls. Can you explain what that is? Yeah, so it's a, it's a club with Ms. Fever and uh, Ms. Stanley that uh, it's, it's a group of girls that can get together and kind of learn to bond together. Um, work out resolutions, con or conflict resolution, I should say. Um, and, and just a kind of a, a time that they can all get together and and uh, learn how to how to grow up as a young lady. Um, I would like I'm going to say this without Ms. Barter. <laughs> um, I'd like to see something like that for, the, for, for boys too, because we also I mean, those strong male role models as well. So, okay. um, but it's a great program. I think Ms. Barner can probably tell you even more about it, but that's kind of just a, that's okay. Yeah. That's I can, I can speak a little bit to it. We're in our um, third year of the program and it was, uh, it came to us from a staff member that wanted to work with um, young women leaders in our school that were interested in, uh, becoming leaders and working through conflict resolution and helping their classes. And um, I think it's been exciting because when when our staff brings ideas like that to us, then other programming goes and our after school programming throughout our whole system is just extraordinary. I think, I think it's a good idea because this is a good example. But Young ladies need to know that there's a future out there. We're going to learn what right we got here. And they need to know that when you got education, you're not going to yes. save anybody. You can get on go on. Yeah. So that's a great, great opportunity. And there are numerous programs in the work right now for our young men at all levels um, that's being led from, by Mr. Quarter and um, Mr. Benjamin and some of our male staff members. So I think you're going to see some exciting programming even more evolve in the, the next year. Thank you for sharing. I know that's been a vision of Leslie's that we've talked about for quite some time, so I'm excited that it's happening. And, and it did start with Mrs. Miller, to be quite honest with mm -hmm. you, and we were hoping that, and we're still looking for a program that we can do throughout all of Grant County. Um, so I, very if you, exciting. If you receive the Indiana Youth Institute weekly updates, mm -hmm. there was recently something in there about statistics for Indiana girls mm -hmm. and um they were not the greatest not very so good. i'm excited that we're doing something to try to mitigate that and help them out. Well, i'm gonna go way off script here jill would you like to say anything <laughs> <laughs> Um, she funds all this I fun stuff. Yeah, so I'm excited to hear, you know, everything that we're funding and, and for these kids. I mean, it, it's great. And I did not know what justice uh, girls are either. So it was exciting to learn that. I'm, I know our students are, are needing that. And, um, you know, spirit, spirit day is coming up Friday. We try to celebrate that at central office. So I'll, I'll throw that in there for central office too. <laughs> we have some great staff that tries to keep us, um, dressing up mm -hmm. spirit clothes on Friday with sectional coming up. And so, um, look for some good photos there. I'm here to tutu yeah. might be in our <laughs> in fact, in fact, um, she was our first girl sectional winner in golf this past weekend, and she'll be competing on uh, Friday in the regional. So what we do in academics, we'll do in athletics. Yep. We're your brand. This is, this is your brand. So, okay. Uh, there's no other thing. I like, don't make a motion for accept the motion for adjournment. So moved. Around. Second. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for that. Great job.